Have you ever needed power while camping? Or perhaps you're somewhat addicted to your hobbies and can't bring yourself to leave them at home when you head out? We live in a world where almost everything requires electricity. Even our watches can't go more than a couple of days without a trip to the charger. So having a convenient power source is really handy. And that's where the Blue Eddy AC200 Max comes in. The AC200 Max is an expandable portable power station designed to keep you powered when you're away from home, or even powered in your home in the event of a power outage. In the rather sizable box you get an AC adapter, then a neat drawstring bag with some additional charging cables, the usual manuals, QC documents and warranty card, and then the AC200 Max. It's a fairly compact all-in-one unit that combines a 2048 watt hour battery pack with a smart 2200 watt pure sine wave inverter. In the drawstring bag is a bundle of cables. You've got three charging cables consisting of a PV cable which has standard MC4 solar connectors on it, a car charging cable that'll plug into a cigarette lighter, and then an XT90 to aviation style plug that connects these cables or others to the AC200 Max. Then lastly you've got a power cable for the AC adapter. You also get a sleeve with a warranty card and basic user manual that walks you through how to use the power station and what settings are available. The internal battery is made up of lithium iron phosphate cells, which are rated for 3500 cycles when charging to 80% of their original capacity. Given that this is intended to be a portable power unit that you take along with you when you need it, you're probably unlikely to be using close to 80% of a cycle every day. But even if you did, you'd still expect to get about 10 years of life out of the battery. The battery capacity can also be expanded up to 8192 watt hours by adding their B300 or B230 expansion batteries, and these plug into expansion ports along the side. Thanks to the high capacity battery, the AC200 Max isn't exactly light. At 28 kilograms, it's not something you quickly throw into the back of your car. It's a two-handed job at the very least. It is reasonably compact though, being 420mm wide, just under 400mm high, and 280mm deep. On the front panel we've got a power button and a 4-inch touchscreen. This is used to display the battery's charge capacity, energy being drawn, control the inputs and outputs, and adjust the settings. The touchscreen is resistive rather than capacitive, which does require a firmer touch. But it is still quite sensitive, and is probably a more reliable solution considering it might be used in situations where you've got gloves on or have water on your hands. To keep your battery topped up, the AC200 Max gives you multiple ways to recharge it. You can plug it into a standard wall outlet, hook up a solar panel, charge it from your car, plug it into a generator, charge it from another battery source like a 12 volt battery bank, or use a combination of inputs together. The beefy AC adapter charges the battery at 400 watts, and also has an internal fan for cooling, so it's not going to be quiet. Using this adapter you should be able to charge it up from empty to full in 5-6 to six hours. There does seem to be a few slight differences between models available in different countries. It looks like the American version can charge at 500 watts. You can also add a second AC adapter if you'd like to improve the AC charging time. You obviously need to buy the second adapter separately, and it looks like the separate adapter is supplied with a barrel jack to XT90 connector, so you'll plug it into the aviation port alongside the other charger. The solar input supports a maximum of 900 watts with an MPPT charge controller. This reduces the full charge time to about 3 to 3.5 hours. You also don't have to use their own branded solar panels. The solar input is through standard MC4 connectors so you can use it with third party panels that have an open circuit voltage of 10 to 145 volts. Combining both the AC and solar input, you can do up to 1300 watts using dual charging, so you could fully charge your battery in under 2 hours, although I'm not sure how practical it is to use both inputs simultaneously. I'd imagine you'd be using solar when you don't have an AC outlet available, and you'd be using the AC input to charge your battery when you get back home again, in which case you probably wouldn't be setting up solar panels in your yard but it is nice to have the option to combine them if you need to. The car charger is also an option, although it is the slowest charger at only 100 watts at 12 volts or 200 watts at 24 volts, although mine only managed 90 watts. So you'd need to run for around 10 to 20 hours to charge up the battery. 
This is probably best suited for long road trips where you're using the power in the evenings and charging the battery while you drive during the day. To use the power, the AC200 Max has 15 different outlets with a range of options to cover pretty much any power source you would have at home, and probably even a few extra. From left to right on the panel, you've got a 12 volt 10 amp DC cigarette lighter socket at the top. Below that is a 12 volt 30 amp DC RV socket. Next to that are two 12 volt 10 amp 5.5 mm DC outputs. We've then got six USB ports. The two on the left are USB-C 3.0 ports, supporting power delivery of up to 100 watts. Alongside these are two 18 watt USB-A ports, and then two 5V 3A USB-A ports. I really like the inclusion of power delivery on the USB-C ports. This means you can leave your bulky laptop charger at home, and just plug it directly into the AC200 Max and you'll still get similar charging performance. Finally on the right are four AC outlets, which each support up to 10 amps. The AC200 Max has a pure sine wave inverter that can provide 2200 watts of power continuously and can handle a surge of up to 4800 watts. To give you an idea of what you can run on it, you could run your Nespresso machine like this for 150 cups of coffee, or 100 cups of milk and coffee. You can run a standard refrigerator for around 10 to 20 hours, so you'll be all set for a power outage at home. Mine uses around 120 watts with a compressor running, but it only runs for a few minutes every half hour or so, so I actually found I used about 30 to 40 watt hours per hour, so I'd get close to 50 hours of runtime in total. This obviously depends on the size of your refrigerator and the technology used. Smaller ones designed particularly for camping can run for about 6 to 10 days on a single charge of the AC200 Max. Next let's try run something closer to the load limit. I'm going to power an electric barbecue with it. This is rated for 2200 watts, so it should be right on the limit of the AC200 Max's continuous rating. I'll start with one side which should be 1100 watts. So that seems to be okay, now let's add the second side. We're now drawing a little over 2100 watts with both sides on their highest setting. I can hear the fan on the side has come on as well. Another awesome feature of the AC200 Max is smart control and monitoring through their Blue Eddy app. You can create an account if you want to, but they also give you the option to just use the app without logging in. We can then select our device, which pops up in a list of nearby devices, and we can then monitor and control the AC200 Max. So we've got the AC output showing up as being on, and we're drawing almost 2170 watts. We can control the outputs from the app as well, so let's turn off the AC output. So now the barbecue has gone off. And then we can turn it back on again. We can also turn the DC output on and off, but there currently isn't anything connected to it. We can charge the Blue Eddy AC200 Max while it's being used. So let's plug in the AC adapter. You'll see the app is now showing that it's charging at a little under 450 watts. I noticed the ring under the AC200 Max went orange when the state of charge dropped below 80%, so I presume this acts as a sort of battery level indicator. Under the settings menu you can change the display's auto sleep time. The app is pretty good for getting an overview of what's on and it allows you to turn inputs and outputs on and off, but I think there's still a lot that can be added to it. I'd like to see some power usage trend data, or even some information on an estimated runtime at the current power consumption, or an estimated time to fully charge. The same goes for the display on the AC200 Max. It's got all of the basics, power readings, output toggles, and you've got a nice set of settings and alarm logs, but it would be nice to have a bit of trend data and some forecasting. Lastly, if you're addicted to your hobbies and want to take them with you, you can run a 3D printer like the Ender 3 V2 for about 10 to 20 hours as well. That's not it for power outputs. Up top we've got two unsuspecting wireless charging pads. These can each supply 15 watts, so they've got your mobile phone or AirPods covered as well. 
One thing to keep in mind is that the onboard management system also uses some power to run. So you need to factor that into your calculations if you're looking to run small appliances like a camping fridge or a Wi-Fi adapter for an extended period of time. Also, if you're using it to power things like lights, which are only on in the evenings, then you should probably have the AC output turned off when you're not using it to conserve battery life. It does have an eco mode, which will shut off the AC output if it hasn't been used in 4 hours in order to conserve battery life, but this won't affect the DC outputs. Lastly, let's talk about pricing. The AC200 Max is not cheap. It retails for around 2,800 Australian dollars, or around 2,000 US dollars. So that's a fairly substantial amount of money. But being an all-in-one solution, you're buying a battery, charger, inverter, and a voltage converter all-in-one. If you had to try build your own system with similar specs, you'd likely spend a similar amount of money, if not a bit more, and you'd still need to find a place to mount them to carry them around, making the convenience of the AC200 Max well worth the price. So after using the Blue 80 AC200 Max for the past 3 weeks, I've had a chance to test it in a number of different scenarios and with a number of devices, so here are my thoughts. I like the compact design. It is heavy, but I'd rather have a unit like this that is able to offer a higher AC output and has a larger battery capacity. I think it strikes a good balance between size, weight and portability, at least for me. There are smaller and lighter options if you're looking for something a bit more portable, but then you'll be sacrificing battery life so it definitely depends on your needs. The build quality is really good. There are a wide range of power options and you shouldn't need to bring any other charging bricks, adapters or converters with you. I also like that all of the ports have integrated port covers. The only thing I don't really like is that the AC adapter is separate. I would have preferred to have some sort of AC input on the unit. This would just require me to bring a cable along and likely one that I'm already bringing for my camera or portable fridge. Lugging another power brick around and not being able to charge it from the mains if you forget the brick is a bit of an inconvenience. The AC200 Max is already pretty big, so adding a few centimeters to the top or sides to incorporate a charger probably won't be that noticeable. I'd also like to see a faster charging option for mains power if you really need it. 5-6 to six hours is a long time if you've forgotten to charge it and need it in a hurry. As I've mentioned earlier, I think there is some room to add additional functionality to the display and app as well. All of the basics are there, but if you like stats and graphs like I do, then you'll probably want to see things like estimates on battery life remaining, or the time remaining to fully charge. It'll also be nice to have some trend data to see how your power's been used over the last few hours or days. These are both things that can be changed in software upgrades, so hopefully they'll get better over time. So the AC200 Max is going to be great for those wanting portable power to run large appliances, or in situations where you're going to be away from grid power for long periods of time. It's also perfect if you live in an area that experiences frequent power outages. Be sure to check out Blue Eddy's website and web store. I've left links to them in the video description. Let me know what you'd use the AC200 Max for in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.